both of those. Next up is men's singles. It's an all Korean uh, fair. Then we'll have women's singles and we'll finish with mixed doubles. So to uh, men's singles and the 35 year old number two seed here, uh, Lee Hyun Il, two time former champion here as well against number six seed, uh, Jong Hyok Jin. So our court officials already on court. And as you can see from semi-final stage, it's an all Korean affair, the uh, defending champion and two-time winner, Lee Dong Kyung. I can tell you has just beaten the number one seed, so Won Ho in the other semi-final. So we're concentrating at the bottom half of the draw. Six Korean players, incidentally, at quarter-final stage. Uh, it really is extraordinary. Just Jonathan Christie of Indonesia and Kenta Nishimoto of Japan, the other two players at quarter-final stage. Kung Il, my left hander, has made history this year. He's already won three Grand Prix gold titles, the first player ever to win three men's singles Grand Prix gold titles in a calendar year. Can he extend that record even further? So there is the number six seed, John Hyuk Jin. 20 years of age, enjoying his third week at a career high of 32. He was quarter finalist last year, and who beat him a year ago? It was his opponent of today, who then lost in last year's final. But he's had a real battle. Look at that, the last three matches all going the full distance. It started in the second round when former world number three and world championship silver medalist Sonny Dewey Conchoro dropped the opening game there. And then against the number 10 seed, Kasumasa Sakai. And then yesterday against another Japanese player, Kenta Nishimoto. So all three matches, or rather his last three matches, all over the hour mark. Four matches in total, of course. Well, here is uh, the number two seed. Highest ranking of one. 21st of February, 2004, play. he became world number one. 35 years of age now, born in Seoul. Goodness, what a record he has. Twice he's been fourth at the Olympic Games. My goodness, must be the worst place ever to finish because you're so near to a medal, but you don't quite make it. Well, in his last two matches, he's gone the full distance in the third round against Xiao Uchi of China, the gold medalist from the Youth Olympic Games last year in Nanjing, and again in the quarter final. So this is the fourth meeting between the Ladies two and players. gentlemen, the last time they met Umar it was in the final of the Malaysia Masters and Grand Prix Grand Prix earlier this year. Korea. 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 to solve love or play. Of a sober one law.
Start this over. One, four. See Chao Tian Chen in Chinese Taipei in the semi final and Sun Wan Ho in the final. Now I know that's not a ranking tournament, it's World University Games. already this year for Lee Kuan Il. Reached the final of his last two tournaments. Thailand Grand Prix Gold. Very high. Now he's beaten finalist at the Vietnam Grand Prix. Five, the five six. finals from nine previous tournaments is a pretty good record for this year, isn't it? Add to that, the fact he's won three Grand Prix golds, first man to do that in men's singles discipline. physically, doesn't he? This 20-year-old. Does 
doesn't yet have the muscle development in the legs that his opponent has. Seven, eight. That's a super shot. He's Seven. playing a lot to the forehand side of the left-hander. There's a clear. There's the final smash across court that he had brought him into the net forehand side, pushed him deep into the forehand corner. And it's obviously some sort of design tactical plan. Long of the back line. Lee Hunil retired on several occasions and come back to the sport. Retired after the Athens Olympics. Left the National Training Centre in 2007. Complained that he now's training was too hard train with his professional team so I don't think that counts as a retirement as he goes to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage and certainly after the London Olympics all retired but it was here in 2012 his first tournament after the Olympics of course, is what I meant meaning to say. One the one gold. One and it is a qualifier too. 2013. That was incredible. Beat Hong Ji Hyun in the final and won the title without dropping a game. As a qualifier. Left-hander just looks far more measured in everything he's doing, isn't he? Good control of the movement. Hardly looks rushed. More measured and controlled and thoughtful about shots. When to play which shot. And he's brought him a five-point advantage. I don't know, delightful. Absolutely delightful. Well, he has made a breakthrough year, I think, uh, the younger of the two players. Yok Jin won the Osaka International World University Games, beaten by his opponent of today in the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold. 
reached the final of the Indonesian International Challenger event as well. Seems to me as if Dong Hyok Jing is just a little bit wary of his opponent at the net. How many times have we seen him play an error on a net shot or block to the net? Here we go again. Oh, I didn't see the end of the rally. I didn't see the next rally either. Nine of the last Eight. ten points going to this man. Oh, yes, that's nice. Nine, seventeen. Now, oh, this is good character from John Hyok Jin. That's a good net shot. Yeah, he's been way, making one or two errors on the net. And John. Two seed, and if you're nil. Opening game. And I make that. Just 15 minutes of play. 21 12 for the former champion, Ali Hunil.
Olha aí, Chonel. Mas, for so many years, Korea's leading men's singles player. And quite frankly, when you look at the results, although the rankings don't put him as the highest ranked Korean player at the moment, I think there's a good argument that he's still the best player from this country. Three time Olympian, surely he couldn't make it four, could he? Perfect placement of the smash down the line. So deceptive, as so many left-handers are from deep in that forehand corner. Is it going straight or is it going cross? How do you tell until it's left the racket? Virtually no follow-through, is there? It still generates power. Chonil doesn't like the call. I think he's arguing with the umpire. I thought it was absolutely inch perfect. Oh, looking at it again, I'm not quite so sure. Mm, difficult to tell. Just to be long. Three, yeah, absolutely no influence from this man, though, towards the nine judges. Four. 
This is an important phase of the match. Tough rally. Look at the body language. Uh, Mr. the tail there. He's hurting. There's a tired looking shot to me. This man rarely gives anything away. You can't tell if he's winning, you can't tell if he's losing. that all of the Korean players are being coached by their team coaches in the professional league here in Korea. a sort of half smash from Lee Hunil. It's just up the pace. Oh, did that go over? No, it didn't. A noticeable injection of pace in that rally. Not just pace of shot, more noticeable the pace of movement. Look at that. Tried to take it off the top of the tape.
dog still work? Eight, nine. Defence. My goodness me, leave your nil. Didn't think that was coming back Eight. over. Guilty of not getting ready. Could just seem to stop former world number one. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. Body smash Coming towards the chest of Lee Hunil and the youngster John Yuk Jin has the advantage. Yeah, that's super, isn't it? More towards the right side of the chest, making it different for the left hander. And a two point advantage is reward here in the second game. Uh, a sign just before the mid-game interval that he was trying to up the pace, up the intensity. is just Lee Hyun Hill at his best. Delightful. Controlling the front court, dictating the pace. Look at that, how early he takes that. And gets behind the lift to play the winning smash. Three points since the mid-game interval, and all three points to the left-hander. Oh, super. Yeah, well, that shows good character. I'm not going to be outdone by you. medalist in Madrid 2006 medals at Asian Games silver in 2002 bronze in 2006 in Doha
remarkable defence wasn't it Three straight points to Lee Hyun Il. Now three straight points to Jeon Hyok Jin. Outmaneuver your op opponent. Classic from Lee Hyun Il. Brilliantly worked. scoring in this second game. a moment ago I thought we were destined for a third and deciding game I'm not convinced anymore I mean you can't underestimate the value of this man's experience Believe it. That is fantastic control at the net by both players, but especially by the youngster. Jan, look at this. How did he play that? That is brilliant. That's the tight spinning net shot from Lee Hyun Il. That was good. exactly where the reply was going to come it was a half smash straight down the line back inside of his opponent this one he knows the block has got to be straight and therefore he was ready and waiting
good anticipation. And he's just, just managing to stop his opponent from drawing level. That is good. Took the half chance and he took it well. the short left with the quality of the net shot and uh, now Lee Hyun Il is indeed back level six of the last eight points going Lee Hyun Il's way He was off balance. He was being pushed and pulled all over the court. Forehand side, deep backhand, brought forward, pushed back again. And at this crucial, crucial stage, the two-time former champion is just two points from victory and a place in the final once more. Oh yes. Incredible. Match point opportunities. Having just won Eight of the last ten points. That's brilliant. Well, not only two-time former champion this man, Lee Hyun Il. If he wins this match, it will be his fourth final. Third consecutive final here at the Korean Grand Prix Gold event. Of course, last year it wasn't a a gold status it was just a Grand Prix but it's the same event and I think therefore we can talk about the tournament's history nice block it's gone long that's well saved yeah, pulled out of position forced into error is unbelievable on oh, match point against him he plays a defensive shot like that whips it across court into the open space that was quite brilliant so 20 all an extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin oh, look at the defence too
unbelievable. How does he find that angle? It's not full power. And it takes it. I said very early on, didn't I, about a left-hander. That disguise from the deep forehand corner. Hit one straight earlier on. That was an outright winner. That one cross court. And it means that it is a third match point opportunity in total. the short left and in his over eagerness to finish off the match and he misses and he misses by quite some way no oh, may live to regret that 21 all three match points have come and gone for Lee Hunil Perhaps the lack of experience from John. So fourth match point opportunity for Lee Hunel. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. How good was that? Where on earth did he find that angle from? Inch perfect. be wondering what on earth he has to do to win this. another very well constructed rally and it all stems from the control on the net play take the shuttle early at the net look at this and then he's got the option of playing that flick deep into the back corner beautiful so match point number five net exchange this time and it is a third consecutive final for Lee Hewnil a fourth in total the two-time former champion will have a chance tomorrow to regain the title he first he last won two years ago and he won it two years ago as a qualifier 21-12 and the victory goes to the 35 year old their confirmation of the scoreline. 21 12, 24 22, winning on his fifth match point.
So three of our semi-finals completed. And confirmation. The first three semi-finals all won by Korean players. Of course, the men's singles have to be because it's two Koreans playing against each other. Uh, but next up is women's singles and Bae Yung Ju, another left-hander. Can she emulate uh, Lee Hyun Il? Bae Yung Ju, of course, is the last remaining Korean player in the women's singles discipline. Our opponent, the very tall Chinese player, and number two seed, Sun Yu. There she is. And if you're a regular follower of badminton, she won a thrilling final in Singapore earlier this year. Going from match points down to beat Tai Su Ying in the third game. Oh, it's quite surprising. This is the, going to be the first meeting between these two players. Both been regulars on the tour, and therefore I'm surprised that they haven't played against each other previously. Well, the first thing I notice is heavy strapping on both the knees of the left-hander. Bei Yongju. 25-year-old, turned 25 last month. 